We've had weather throughout the weekend, and of course today, just spectacular. And a punch out called strike three for Gottschall to start things off. 37 and 19 on the season. And that is launched. Back it goes, and off the wall, out and right. Leno looking for third, and she'll head that way. And a one-out triple for Zoe. For Riley Blampede, out to Malloy, and that should be plenty deep. And South Carolina, a triple and a sacrifice fly. And how about this? The Gamecocks deciding to score early today. <laughs> Speaking of Chase, second strikeout for Gotchel. I'm sure Tennessee is, is thinking that with the way Donnie Goldburn has thrown late in games. It... Yeah. Into shallow center and coming on and off the glove of Blampede. And the runners will be safe at second and third. Velo separation. There it is. Two down. Two lefties in the batting order today for Tennessee, and that will get through. At least one is in. Karen Weekly will hold up Boo Gibson as Pooney scores, even at one apiece. Donahue, high fly ball, Blampede back and under it. Side retired, but the equalizer. Draws the walk. <laughs> <laughs> And how I like my And oh. diving backhanded grab for Mackenzie Donahue. Game so far here in the tournament. This is the SEC championship game. And how about three games in a row? She's thinking extras. Takes a look at three and slams on the brakes. The double with one out for Brackenbro. Because we've talked a lot about her father, Lawyer Malloy, who was an NFL player. She gets a lot of that power and that build from her dad. Pooney and Blampede should track that down and does. So the intentional walk works for Carolina. He was at the final four. So I think it's cool that, yeah, that, that we're able to support each other because. Amazing, almost 40% on a rise. Runner goes to throw down plenty of time. Donahue was waiting for her to show up. Gibson. Oh. Sends it the opposite way. Base hit to open up the bottom of the third. Riley West, the grounder to shorten it, eats up Blankenship. Two on with one out. Her bat has been the quietest. 0 oh for 6. Blankenship will keep it in the infield, and that's it. Then the throw gets away. Tennessee, though, will not advance runners. Just about everybody's got some blemishes. It's going to be fascinating to see how the committee breaks it down. Blankenship headed for home, and they will get the force out. Two down. Wild throw. Cost him there. And then the flare picks him up. That's a fair ball. One is in. Two are in for Tennessee. A two run double for Brackenbro. They had to wait. Until they got two outs. <laughs> I mean, pretty yeah, exactly. much that's, that's kind of how this team's rolled all tournament long. And it's not about necessarily the hardest hits, but you look for Jamison in this situation. She, she just gets her hands inside this inside pitch and finds grass. It's like a golf shot. That perfect onto the putting green out into left field. Scoring two for Tennessee. Taylor swinging and a miss. And Oaks limits the damage, but a couple in. We'll have to deal with that. Boutte staying low to the ground oh. with the glove. That is a great play. Desiderio, this one could be playable. And it is up against the wall in foul territory for Riley West, a one, two, three inning. One, one, Malloy. Beat her on that pitch. The gap out in left center and Kiki racing around a second. Lead off double here in the bottom of the fourth. Ball four. And to your point, Holly, it's difficult to do though because of that. Indiana and Taryn Kern strike out for Donnie. Back up the middle. And Emma Sellers with a good at-bat and a two-out base runner. 
Olympic case, trophy, uh, medal case, there opposite way. And the fly ball caught out there and right by Blankenship. Foremost, mm -hmm. didn't they have like half of the Big 12 freshman team this year? Brock and Bro, three for three now on the day. Brock and Bro, this is Gamecocks have six outs to work with. Time running short. And then a miscue on the bases. And that's going to be a double play. Even runs on 13 hits. They're 3-0, and and they're hanging around again today. And a strikeout here. Called strike three again. Two in a row for Rodgers. The four outs to work with now. And she strikes out the side. Absolutely. That. Gibson out to center. Blampede has it. Side retired. Black, Malloy, and can't get to it, and it'll get by her to the wall. The leadoff is on, and the tying run is coming to the plate. Last. And they are fighting for a championship here, and they are down to just two outs. Gonzalez out towards Malloy, and she's got it, two down, and now Tennessee is one out away. Right oh. back to Rogers, who slams it down into the dirt. The 2023 SEC champions, the Tennessee Volunteers. Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top, Tennessee. Rocky Top, Tennessee.